All right, let's see here. Security Systems Presentation. Olivier, here's the initial presentation I received. It's a little light on facts, but these guys know what they're doing. We'll know more when they arrive on Monday. Let me know if you feel like attending, John. Okay, that's not too long. I'll go ahead and read through this. Real quick. Okay, Bloom. Why now? Why wait? Why Bloom? As the world's foremost innovator of high-tech, high-performance communications and security technology, Bloom stands poised to reshape the way we think about information security architecture, or ISA. Specializing in everything from mobile telephony to home computing to digital imaging processors to network networked security systems we take great pride in the fact that we helped create most of the markets we now dominate and nowhere is our expertise more apparent than in our flagship product ctos a groundbreaking proprietary proprietary security software operating system so what is CTOS? Confidential privacy is security. Integral. How often uh, did we, or how did we ever do business without it? Accessible the touch of a button. Available. We're available or we're everywhere all the time. Stable. It just works. But simply CTOS is the most stable and user-friendly software security controller ever devised. Can Abstergo afford to pass up perfection? The CTOS Dream. The Bloom Promise. A dozen cities, 100 major corporations, 1,000 small businesses. For almost a decade, CTOS has served its clients' need with a track record unparalleled in the modern age. How do we do it? Durable ultra light HD cameras, ultra speed fiber optic networking, proprietary or Terry, facial recognition software, multiple fail safe data centers, cloud compatible intelligence sharing, 24 hour customer support and service. In short, we have everything Abstergo needs to protect its in unique intellectual property and more. Future is in bloom. CTOS, Futures on Bloom, we look forward to working with you. Wait a second. The Bloom the security company I wants to work with. There we go. Kind of curious if if a Bloom was actually um, where the computer technician uh, was hired from. And it's actually just a front to get into uh, Abstergo undercover. Quite possible.
Ghost in the Machine. Act 15 Computers in Abstergo Entertainment. Okay. M01. Angels. Mama says Count Rosman Burke will take care of us now. So long as Papa and Uncle John work for him. Our home is big but Trebinus, a small town. Mama seems happy. Frog 1587 1608 CE Elizabeth Jane Weston. Kind of looks like a Templar. So I'm not going to get into the story. Love, honesty. Wisdom. Demon's pride. Greed. Lust. Wrath. Looks like a pretty interesting story. I'll just quickly scroll through. The, uh, the seven deadly sins are here. Oh, I see. Thank you, Mighty Flea. The Bloom and CTOS are references are all references to Watchdogs. Pierre handed in his notice this morning. This new security measure is freaking people out. They won't let him go. It's part of our contract. Having ultra high security clearance means you have to go through a whole debriefing process. It takes months. Really? I had no idea. Read the fine print, man. Working for Abstergo has its benefits, but there's some drawbacks too. Big ones. Hmm. Interesting. What about? You didn't get hacked, did you? What's with all these security notices I'm seeing lately? Just a standard message we use on occasion. Nothing to worry about. We've just had some issues around the office lately. Like server security issues? Because these notices seem pretty severe. Like draconian, actually. No, no, it's nothing to worry about, really. Walk with me and I'll explain. Bonjour. Hmm, something going on. Hey, thanks for sharing the white whale data with me. I was able to track it down myself. No problem, man. It's amazing, right? Yeah, I tracked it down as soon as I saw your message. Followed it for a while. Couldn't catch it, though. No, oh, and they're referring to the... Those guys were referring to the, um... The social sharing in the, in the Animus or in the game. A little nod to that. Yeah, that, it's kind of cool though. Yeah. So, the Assassin's Creed games and the um, the Watch Dogs series tie in together. They're they're all in the same universe, from what I've seen. Although I haven't played any of the Watch Dog games. Okay, 
let's see. Yeah, I'll check this one out. How many how many ancestors do you have? How many of their secrets are locked away in your genes? And how many of their stories are you willing to share with the rest of us? Welcome to the fascinating world of genetic memory retrieval. We here at Abstergo Entertainment are now poised at the precipice of this exciting new frontier, technology and science that will change the way we view the past and live the future. In the coming year, we'll be opening studios across the world dedicating to a, dedicated to a single purpose, collecting and archiving the stories locked away in human DNA. And we need your help. We're looking for courageous men and women to de donate their genetic materials to our research, our historical research teams, and help us remake Help us make prehistory. Help us make rehistory. Okay. Donate today. So join us. Sir Entertainment, where the past is our playground. Oh, okay. This This is an artifact that's in the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, like in the beginning of the game. Where it collects like a blood sample. I wonder if Abstergo retrieved that information and created this. Hmm. Can't remember the actual use of that item. There we go. I had my camera angle in the wrong place and I think I messed up a few times, but it's alright. Oh wow. Ooh. Let's see. Subject seventeen. Phase one report. This surveillance video, possibly captured by Eurodito or another group, is labeled New York, USA, 2012, September 1st, 4.02 a.m. The company chat transcript was labeled kidnapped, data transcript level three. Can someone ask Chase to make sure his men use more professional language going forward. 
caller ID private equals private and face. Yes, sir. Pause. We have him reply scrambled. Yes, shoving him in the van as we speak, sir. Target will be delivered on schedule. Transmission ends. So they have surveillance, and they're. This is when Abstergo was tracking down uh, Desmond, and they were keeping track of his movement. Huh. Surveillance video labeled Brooklyn, USA, 2012, September 437. The poster claimed Abstergo agents have captured an unknown Caucasian male. Victim is in his mid 20s, approximately six foot tall, 190 pounds, destination unknown. Yep, sure enough. This one labeled CIA in, you know, Italy, 2012, September 1st, 1844. The poster identified this only as unmarked hangar, but then went on to say, Thurgo agents arriving at destination. Company owned jet brought to hangar after landing. Victim and identified as Desmond Miles. I don't think this is this has spread too far yet. Location has already been scrubbed, so I think we can dismiss this as ravings of a fanatic. Preliminary analysis. A leaked medical file. We're looking into it. No menstrual disorders for subject 17, though. That must have been a relief for the public to read. Patient has no active complaints, no acute distress, no prior cardiac history, blood pressure normal, 112 over 78, primary blood analysis, no significant traces of chemicals that would lead to neurological disorder, no indication that patient would be prone to neurosis. Unlike previous subjects, patient is psycho psychologically stable. You are clear to proceed. Signed by Damien Carvacos, MD, on September 3rd, 2012. Missing person poster. Friends of Subject 17 distributed the, these all over New York. Have you seen this man, Desmond Miles? Basically, he got kidnapped, and they ran tests on him to make sure he was a perfect subject. Kind of cool to see the whole process, though. Get a little bit more insight about the events leading up to Assassin's Creed 1. Researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Altair, no, this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. Hmm. Trying to slander the trying to slander Altair's name. 
Shame on you, Absurgo. One of history's most overlooked leaders, Madeleine de Lisle, freed hundreds of slaves and brought them to sanctuary in a tropical haven whose construction she oversaw personally. Poorly cut down at the peak of her career by Aveline de Grand Pre, the orphan she rescued from a broken home, Madeleine served as Master Templar in the southern colonies from 1764 to 1777. She actually did, well, she used Aveline um, to get what she wanted, and she used hundreds of slaves to try to reach the prophecy disc. Oh. So she was a pretty cool. She was a pretty cool villain in uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation. check the lobby real quick. I think I have all the computers hacked in the lobby at this point. There's not really much I can do in the lobby. I think there's cameras on the side though. Yeah, I should check out the security room. Nothing from that camera yet. Uh, keep an eye out. So close. Thank you. 
Okay, got it. We are attempting to synchronize the DDS system. This will only take a moment. We are almost there. The DDS is now in sync. Thank you for your patience. We hope you enjoy your experience. Rudolf II invited many notable figures to his court, making Prague the center of European culture. Among them were Englishman Edward Kelly and his stepdaughter, Elizabeth Jane Weston. Observe her and report any alleged collusion. the significance of that, but pretty cool nonetheless. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. No, it just says Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Olivier Bowden. Eh. Not gonna go into that. That seems cool. So 21 of 33 computers hacked. Still got a ways to go.
Alright, well, I'm gonna head back into the Animus. Alright, any crafting I can do right now? Nope. Alright, let's see if there's any uh, upgrades I can put into the Jackdaw. I'm going to stop there. Ooh. Made quite a bit of progress. I finished up the rest of the sequence six. I'm with her sequence seven. And finished some more stuff around modern day. And I got a lot more of the, uh, explored more of the game as well. So made a pretty, uh, pretty good amount of progress. But anyways, for anybody that's watching still, Thank you for stopping by. I will see you guys next time. Take care.